this fog's been around since I was coming home from the shop last night. I didn't wake up until noon today. And it's still pretty thick. It's about 1 o'clock right now. Uh, I'm guessing this ain't going anywhere today. So I'm out of the shop while I'm here. Matco's here. I've had an 88 tooth ratchet that's been acting up lately. Every now and then, it'll just lock up and won't ratchet. And I know these have problems with breaking the pawls. Let's give it to him real quick so he can check it out for me and see what's going on with it. A new kit put in it. Pulled it apart and I was surprised we didn't see a broken paw. Usually these things will crack the paw off in the bottom of them. But there's a little bit of damage on the edge of the gear tooth and we think that's what was doing it. So we just put a whole new kit in it. So we got a 2017 Ram here with a 6.7 Cummins in it. We're going to run overhead on it today. So we've got a 14 millimeter wrench for the nut and a 5 millimeter Allen for the center. And then our feeler gauges, uh, 0.010 and 0.020 are going to be our desired ways to set it. Now on the crankshaft, there's going to be a mark that says TDC in the balancer on the front of the motor. You want it straight up and down to the 12 o'clock position. So, ideally you should have cylinder one loose on both. These are both tight, so I am 360 out, but that doesn't matter. Um, I'll just go on to do the next set. So, you can do half of them right now, rotate the engine over one revolution, then you can do the other half. So, I got the tripod set up here, and we'll get this first ones done. Also, I got a little piece of paper here. So, on the position I'm in, I can do intakes on 356, exhaust on 246. When you rotate the crank 360 degrees, put the TDC back up at the 12 o'clock position. So when you can do your intake 124 and your exhaust on 135. So because neither cylinder ones are loose, I'm starting on this half of it. And then, like I said, intake is 0.010 and exhaust is 0.020. Those are where you want to try to set them. There is a little bit of a range, but if I'm already here, that's where they're getting set to. I'm just going to do them all. All right, so we're going to start off with the exhaust on two. And that is pretty loose. So you want to adjust it till you just get a little bit of a drag on that feeler gauge. It's right about there. And then you're gonna want to hold it so it doesn't move the adjustment while you tighten it down. And take your feeler gauge back and double check that it still fits with a little bit of drag. And we're good. That one's set. So now we're going to check the exhaust on four. Got a feeler gauge in there. And I'm not really feeling the amount of drag I want. It's pretty loose. So we're going to do the same thing. Just did it's number two to four. So we're setting the intake valve now, starting with three, then uh, it goes five, and then six. Six is not fun to get to, um, but it is doable. Uh, you just don't have a lot of clearance back there. So you're looking the same thing here. First, a slight drag on a .010 feeler gauge. Once you achieve that, you want to 
hold the adjuster in the center of that Allen wrench so that it doesn't move. And then tighten it down. Take the cooler gauge back. And just want a slight drag, just like that. So that one's good to go. And then three and five are not fun doing the intakes just because you have the harness going right over them. So you can't really see in there. You just got to do it by feel. But if you've done valves before, you know that feel you're looking for. You just want that little bit of drag just on the edge of this as it pulls through. You want to feel it. And uh, like I said, there is a range on these, but 0 0.010 0 for intake, 0 0.020 from exhaust. That's coming straight from Fleece. Fleece is the one who built to end uh, the old stuff to this truck. So I'm going off of what they say to do for it. So we're getting ready to make a little bit of a wrench here. I'm going to take a 14 mil 12 point socket, weld it to this wrench, and pull the extension out. So we can still get an Allen wrench up and through the center of this and uh, use it to adjust the valves a little bit easier. Well, it's not the prettiest welds, but I'm also not the shop's welder. So good enough. It'll work for what I need it for. I'll clean it up here in a little bit with a flap disc or a grinding wheel or something once I get it cooled off a little bit. Well, you know what they say, a grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. But it's going to be good enough for what I got to do here. So, made that so it will sit just like that. We have some clearance to be off of the uh, rockers and everything. And if I did this right, hip, my Allen wrench will grab down the center of it still. So, we're good to go. So now that we've got the adjustments done in this first position, I'm just want to take the torque wrench and make sure that all these nuts are tight. They go to 212 inch pounds. After we get them all torqued, we're going to run back through one more time with a set of feeler gauges and recheck all the ones after they've been torqued to make sure that didn't change our measurement on them. So we're going back through right now and double checking our clearances since we torqued it. We want to make sure they didn't get tight on us when we did that. So we've got little Tyler down there. He's going to bar the engine over for me. I'm going to go one full revolution to get it back on top dead center to do the other uh, six sets of valves. Is that good or... Nope, you're going to have to keep going, but I can see the mark now. Just a little... Whoa! And right there, the TDC mark. I don't know if you can see the little notch right in there. It's 12 o'clock, so now... Both of them on one or loose. Uh, should be three's exhaust, four's exhaust, three, no, two's intake, and then five's intake. So those are going to be the ones we're going to adjust up next. Pretty much the same process, we're going to repeat it. Uh, we'll set intakes and exhausts. Get them close or get them set, tighten them down. Once it's tight, we're gonna check it with a torque wrench on all the adjuster nuts, run through and double check, same as before. These really aren't bad to do. Um, cylinder six kind of sucks to get to. And that wrench we just welded up, it's a nice little addition, just get you some clearance over the valve train, just because when you put that on there, now you can pull and you're not gonna hit the rocker, you're not gonna top the injector or anything like that. Yep. Things running good and smooth now. 